What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new week and a brand new episode of the Monday Morning Jumpstart. I'm glad you are here today. Hey, I want to challenge you today with this thought of begin your day in drive. You say, begin my day in drive. What are you talking about, dude? Well, Earl Nightingale said that most people begin their day in neutral. Most people begin their day in neutral, which simply means they wake up and they just react to the circumstances around them. Whatever happens, they react to it. And the reverse is what I want to challenge you with is to re- begin your day in drive, which means you wake up in the morning feeling like PD. No, I'm just kidding. But you wake up in the morning and you're proactive with your life. You don't wake up five seconds and before it's time to be at school or work and you roll out of bed and boom, you're there. Because when you do that, you're waking up in neutral and you're just going to be reacting to everything. But instead, you wake up early enough. You get out of bed early enough, which I know is difficult and you're mad at me because I'm even making a video about this. But you wake up early enough. You wake up, you put your feet on the floor and you say, thank you, Lord, for a brand new day. It's a brand new opportunity for me. And you see each day is a brand new opportunity. And then you get up and you get in the word. For me, I I said it last week, I like to sit by the fire, especially in the wintertime and and just open up my Bible and read. And sometimes there are things I don't understand, and you may feel the same way. I don't understand everything. That's okay. You just keep reading, and you keep learning, and you keep seeking Him first above everything else, and everything else will be given unto you, is what the Word says. And so wake up and seek Him. Read some other positive material as well. Pray, and you just have started your day uh, in drive. You've started your day proactively. You have began to put good things in your head. And what goes in the well is going to come out in the bucket. Whatever you feed your mind is going to come out in your daily life. So fill yourself. Fill yourself early in the morning so throughout the day you can overflow the positive things that you've been putting in that God has been teaching you and that you can just relate to other people. So the challenge is there. Begin your day in drive. It's important. Don't just wake up and react to the world because when you do that, if you call yourself a Christian, you put off this wrong vibe that, Oh, man, he just snapped at her. And I'm not saying you're not going to snap at times. I do it all the time. But there's a better chance if you just wake up and put your put your day in drive and you start it out right and you seek God and you make yourself a good breakfast and you don't eat a Pop-Tart heading out the door. You make yourself some good, solid food uh, for breakfast and you can just begin your day right. And you've been up for a little while when everybody else is just rolling out of bed and waking up. You begin your day in drive and it will set your day up for success. And you've got to stop looking at success as some big overarching thing that you're going to get to one day. Success is captured. Success is reached one day at a time. So if you're not looking at each day as being a success, then you're missing the point. Success isn't going to happen overnight. We often see success that happens overnight. And we say, oh man, he was an overnight success. But Eric Thomas, one of my favorite speakers, he says, man, I was speaking for 20 years before I got my big break. So people say it was an overnight success, but the truth is it was a 20 year overnight success. And so there's the same way for me with my book. I, while it hasn't been the biggest success in the, in the world's eyes, for me it was a success, but it's been something that's been on my mind for a long time. It's been something I've been speaking about for a long time and so and it was a process that I had to go through um, but it wasn't just an overnight success it was a little bit of success every day it was a success every day when I got up to write and I wrote a thousand words a day it was a success each time I moved a step further and further along in the book so whatever it is for you whatever your goal is whatever you're reaching for take it one step at a time one day at a time wake up put your day in drive start it out right and live fully. You're awesome. See you soon.